right, guys, I'm in the process of making a knife. I made a, uh, a flint striker, a uh, piece of steel striker. And my problem is I can't get it hot enough to temper it, to get it tempered hard enough to work to throw sparks. And, of course, on my knife that I'm making, I'm going to need something to get it hot. So what I'm going to have to do is make me a forge. I uh, don't have the funds to go out and buy, you know, all that stuff store bought. So I've seen a video on YouTube making a, a forge out of a wheel hub, brake hub. So on this old trailer, it's all seized up. I used to haul my pressure washer on it, uh, but it's set up in the woods. The, the wheels are all locked up. And you can see I've been scavenging the, the steel off of it anyway. Uh, I'm just going to take it to the dump. But uh, I think that there's a... Uh, a brake hub on under this wheel, so I'm gonna jack it up there and take this wheel off and, and uh, see if I can get me a hub to make me a uh, forge out of. All right, I got the wheel taken off, and sure enough, right here's what I was looking for: a brake hub. So I'm gonna just try to see if I can get that thing beat off of there. It seems like it's froze up. Like I said. The, the wheels is all locked up, and I'm sure the brakes are seized up on it, is, is why. So, I'm going to see if I can't knock this hub off and uh, get to going on making that forge. Now, I got the hub off of the wheel. So, there's what I'm going to use to try to make me a forge. Alright, I've got everything here uh, to make this forge. Let me show you the, the parts that you'll need. Of course, you need a hub. It's a two-inch flange. It's a small connector, connection. A T. Another connection, but a four-inch. It's about a three. And a cap. And the first thing we need to do is bolt this flange to our hub. I've got one hole that lines up, so I'll go ahead and put a bolt in that. Go ahead and get that tightened down. And then what I'll have to do is go ahead and drill the rest of them. Okay, there it is put together. I forgot to mention at the first of the video I was going through the parts uh, and I left out this. I didn't mention it. It's a 8 inch extension. You can put a longer uh, piece on it. Of course, you can go out as far as you want. But just remember, the longer you get, the more this is going to work as a lever uh, to tip this over. This thing's pretty darn heavy. I'm just going to probably set mine on two cinder blocks pretty much like everybody else does. And... Uh, Look for me a, about a 35 gallon drum and I seen a seen a guy cut the top of it out and it sat down and it made a really nice stand and, but until I can find one of those I'm just going to go with this. So we need a, an old hard dryer, uh, any type of blower motor to go on here so I'm going to uh, scavenge around here at the house and see what I can find and then I'm going to get this thing fired up. We'll see how it works, but uh, there it is. It's you know I've got I had most of this stuff laying around the house. I've got twelve dollars, less than twelve dollars in this thing. So, uh, and again, what this is, this is just a uh, trap because your ashes are going to fall through here. Also, I need a little screen uh, on this to keep the uh, keep the coals from falling through. But uh, but as the ashes fall through, they'll gather in this bottom part, and that just works as a as a clean out. So just unscrew that off. Uh, you know, maybe after you get to using it, of course, after it cools down, and clean that ash trap out. But uh, shoot, I'm gonna find a uh, uh, air source and get this thing going. And see what it'll do. All right, guys, there it is. The twelve dollar forge. Up and running. <laughs> 